Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are embarking on a journey into the world of homeopathy and spotting light on a homeopathic remedy with a unique healing properties. So yes, I'm talking about natrum sulfuricum or simply you can say natrum sulf. So if you are curious about homeopathy or seeking natural alternatives for certain health concerns, then this video is definitely for you. So, so watch this video till end for more knowledge and stay connected with us for more informative videos like this. So join me as we unravel the characteristics, indications and potential benefits of natrum sulf in homeopathy. So let's talk about the natrum sulfuricum or simply natrum sulf. So homeopathic medicine natrum sulf is prepared from sodium sulfate with potentization. Potentization is basically a process of preparing homeopathic medicines that arouses the medicinal properties of a crude substance. So sodium sulfate is converted into a highly beneficial homeopathic medicine that, that is natrum sulfuricum. It is one among the Schusler's 12 tissue remedies and it is a very magnificent medicine to treat respiratory issues, especially cough, asthma and managed and managing had injuries. Now next we'll talk about the constitution of natrum sulf. So this medicine is suitable for the person who lives in damp houses and basements because of which they suffer medical problems. It also works best to treat complaining complaints arise from exposure, exposure to damp and cold weather. Next we'll talk about the drug action of natrum sulfuricum. So this medicine has a foremost action on the respiratory tract and it also act well on the mind, head, gastric system, liver, limbs, joints, and skin. Now, next, we'll talk about the clinical indications of natrum sulf. This medicine can be used for asthma, cough, depression, head injuries, headache, diarrhea, liver disorders, jaundice, joint complaints, gout, paranoia, warts, nausea, vomiting, and colic. Now, in order to make it understandable, now one by one, I will talk about the now one by one I'll talk about now one by one I will explain each and every clinical indication so that you can understand them very well. So let's talk about the natrum sulfuricum. So let's talk about the scope of a natrum sulfuricum as a homeopathic medicine. So its first use or first action is for the respiratory problems that is asthma and cough. So natrum sulf manifests its chief action on the respiratory system. Or respiratory tract it is of the great service in managing cases of cough and asthma in cases of asthma it is the principal remedy when asthma get worse in damp weather person needing it have a rattling sound in the chest cough and expectorations of thick greenish ropey mucus in the excessive quantity it also proves effective when asthma attacks follows any kind of exertion for asthma attacks occurring in the early morning around 4 or 5 a.m this medicine offers great help Cough occurs with glary that is slimy, viscous and transparent expectorations. Sometimes there is a pressure like a heavy load on the chest. On coughing, chest feels sore. It is a leading homeopathic medicine for managing asthma in the children also. It can be given for cases of difficulty in breathing. It works well when there is a difficulty in breathing while walking which improves with rest. There is a desire to take a deep and long breath. A natrum sulf can be used for dry as well as loose cough. For dry cough, it is considered when cough is accompanied with roughness in the throat. It gets worse at night. The sufferer has to sit up and hold chest with hands. It is also useful in loose cough when there occur thick, ropey and green expectorations. It is attended with tickling in the throat and in some cases, pus-like expectorations occur along with the pain around the last ribs, especially left-sided. The next use of natrum sulf is for the complaints of mind, like depression. Let's talk about it. So natrum sulf work wonderfully to treat depression cases. Those needing it have sadness and irritability. They become ill-humored. They become ill-humored and do not wish to speak to or be spoken to. They have loss of affections for family. They have aversion to life. It is one of the best homeopathic medicine for to help certain mind-related complaints, especially depression arising after head injuries, fall or blow on head. Next use of natrum sulf is for head complaints like head injury and headaches. So natrum sulf has a remarkable action on the head. It is a very magnificent medicine to deal with the cases of head injury. Many of the after effects of head injury are well managed with this medicine and most prominently it is highly suitable to manage headaches occurring after head injury. 
the pain is most marked at the base of the brain and back of the neck epilepsy that is a tendency to recurrent fits after head injury is also indicated for its use it is also useful for headaches that get worse from noise and light there is a relief in the pain of the head in a dark room and natrum sulf is also indicated for managing headaches during menstrual cycles females needing it feel pressure along with heat in the top of the head during menstrual cycles pulsations are felt in the head its use can be done in case in cases of periodical headaches that returns at regular intervals in this case pain mainly occurs at the right side temple of the head burning sensation in the stomach pit and bitter taste are felt before headache begins next use of natrum sulf is for the gastric issues like cramps diarrhea and gas selection of the natrum sulf is also noted on the gastric system that is git firstly it is useful for managing cramping pain in the abdomen in the breakfast there is a relief in pain from rubbing or lying on the side there is also a distension and heaviness in the stomach and secondly it can be given for the heart burns and sore vomiting and next indication to use it in diarrhea there is a loose watery and yellowish stool it is mixed with greeny slimy matter the loose stool mainly occurs in the morning with sudden urge driving the patient out of the bed there is a rumbling in the abdomen followed by noising spluttering stool with the passage of much gas after passing stool burning is felt in the anus anal itching also appears diarrhea occurring in bed weather is also important indication guiding its use now next use of the next use of natrum sulf is for the liver complaints like hepatitis and liver pain so it is a highly valuable medicine managing liver problems it can be given for hepatitis that is inflamed liver cases with the jaundice it gives immense relief in liver pains person needing it have liver pains worsening on deep breathing jarring it is attended with soreness pain is usually stitching in nature next use of natrum sulf is for the limbs complaint like joint pain sciatica and paronychia so this medicine has some of its section on the limbs as well prominently its section is noted on the joints it's it effectively works to manage cases of joint pain the foremost indication is joint pain occurring in damp and cold weather there is a pain in the hip joint it worsens when sitting down on stooping and on rising there also occur pain in the fingers with swelling and stiffness in some cases there is a knee stiffness along with cracking its use is also indicated for gout which is a inflamed swollen painful joints due to high uric acid levels the feet joints are affected with gout an important complaint where it is very beneficial is sciatica sciatica is a pain along with the sciatic nerve beginning in the lower back and radiating down the hip down the back of the thigh and leg up to the feet there is a worsening of the sciatica when turning in the bed and when rising from the seat where it is required another complaint where it seems to help is hand trembling it works best when hand tremblings occur on baking or when writing it also work wonderfully to treat hang nails which is a little jagged torn piece of skin near root of the nail paronychia which is a skin infection occurring skin infection around finger nails and also recover wonderfully with natrum sulf the next use of natrum sulf is for the last but not the least that is skin complaints like eczema warts and jaundice so with its section on the skin it can successfully handle eczema cases it is well indicated for the eczema that is moist and oozing watery fluid it is a significant homeopathic medicine for a skin disease in which painful blisters form forms on skin and mucous membrane that is pemphigus in such cases it is given where there is a, where there are blisters with yellowish watery fluid it is a leading medicine for the jaundice also and lastly it is helpful for the warts warts treatment mainly warts on the genitals so these are the various uses or you can say these are the various conditions where natrum sulfuricum can be used successfully now next we'll talk about the doses how to take it So though it can be used in different potencies but the most preferred is 6x potency it can be taken in 6x potency 3 to 4 times a day and if using it in high potencies then frequent repetition should be avoided so that's all if you recommend stands as a remedy with a focus on balancing bodily fluids and addressing conditions which are exacerbated by dampness so if you find this video informative and helpful and especially valuable 
please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell for more insights into the holistic health and the world of homeopathy and natural healing so thank you so much for joining me on this exploration of the next exploration of the natrum sulfuricum in homeopathic medicine so take care see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay healthy and if you are suffering from any of the health issues you can contact us for online appointments on the screen you can see how to contact us so that's it for now and thanks for watching this video